everyone, miss me? I'm sure you did. For all of you who are new, hi, my name is Lizette. Welcome to our channel. If you've been watching me for a while, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This video is going to be a little bit different. I asked in my previous video, in my previous giveaway video, if you all wanted to see vlog style type content and a lot of you said yes. I was almost overwhelmed by the amount of you that said yes. Just so you can get to know me a little bit better other than the reviews that I do here on YouTube or my makeup tutorials or anything like that. So I'm going to make this kind of like a quarantine vlog style type content because like most people, like pretty much I guess everyone, I have to be stuck in the house, quarantined, so let's keep each other some company. Let me know in the comment section down below where you are all from and what's going on, where you all are from, and then everyone hopefully can just take turns talking to each other and encouraging each other and just keeping up with each other during this time and I'll just talk to you about my thoughts and opinions and what my quarantine vlogs are gonna I guess look like <laughs> so I'm just sitting down with some coffee not tea coffee I try not to watch the news too much I watch a little bit each day because I can't obviously watch it too much they say it's not good for you because then you're like negative all the time and I try my best to really be like a positive positive person I don't know if you guys can tell that from my videos or anything like that or on my Instagram I try to be really positive and it's be it's kind of getting hard to stay positive you see everything that's going on and it's like you see all of basically the nation is just in disarray it's in a complete mess it's in shambles and it's it's crazy because it's like two three months ago if you would have told me that this would have happened i would have called you a liar like that's impossible it's like viruses diseases have happened and we kind of just kind of got through it or we just continued business as usual myself included and now it's like yikes it's taken hold of pretty much everything i know when here in new york city because i live in new york city when the schools were shut down that's when i knew it was bad because they don't shut down new york city schools for nothing it could be mountains and piles of snow up to your door and you will still have to go to school teachers will still have to go to school students will still have to go to school they don't shut down new york city schools for nothing so once i saw new york city schools shut down that's when i knew it was bad that's what I was like, oh no, this ain't no joke. And I saw the number, like I would, like when I watched the news, I saw the number of cases steadily going up. Like it wasn't decreasing. They were just continuing to go up. And I was like, okay, this is getting really bad. So I quarantined myself. I let my job know that I know what, the last day was like Wednesday, two weeks ago. I let them know that Wednesday to, from, you know, I think Wednesday, March uh, 18 March 15th something like that last week Wednesday I said well two weeks ago Wednesday I was like I'm not gonna be coming in anymore but then it kind of puts everybody in a bind because it's like if you can't come into work how are you supposed to get paid everybody can't work from home realistically so how are you then supposed to get paid if you can't come into work because it's really bad outside and you run the risk of a catching an infection a catching the virus be catching the virus not showing symptoms but then passing it along to somebody else or it may be an elderly person or an older person then they catch it then that's it for them like or you catch the virus but then you have to go to the hospital but the hospitals are running out of supplies ventilators masks gear protective gear that they need so then it's like even if you were to go to the hospital the, the, the hospitals are full. They're over flooded. They're maxed out. They're using skating rinks now and transforming them into hospitals. They're using, you know, huge venues now and turning them into hospitals. So it's like, that's not, it's like, it's terrible. You, you don't want to risk yourself. But then at the same time, like for a lot of people, you still need to pay rent. You still need to pay bills. You still have expenses. So it's just really tough on everyone. Let me know in the comment section down below how tough has this been for you. I know it's tough on everybody across the board. Then you have big corporations like <clears throat> Sephora. 
I heard about this morning that are laying off all of their part-time and seasonal employees, which is like, what? Like this, it's just, it's just terrible all around. And it's scary. It's a scary, unprecedented time. We've never had a time like this. Like I've never seen a time when I go into a store, whether it be Walgreens, Rite Aid, Dwayne Reed, A, I can't even get in because everybody has to be like six feet apart and they only allow a certain amount of people in at a time. And then B, you go in and there's like toilet paper's gone, tissue paper's gone, all the, the shelves are almost like empty. Like, I've never seen that all my years living here in New York City. I've never seen that. It's like people are fighting and you're seeing videos and clips online. People fighting and beating each other up and pushing each other for toilet paper, for necessities. A Bankstown mother and daughter have been charged after a fight over toilet paper in Woolworths. The vision of the shoppers arguing with another woman went viral as supermarkets impose new purchase limits to curb coronavirus hysteria. The fight over toilet paper that went viral around the world. I just want one pack. No, not one pack. Now the 60-year-old mother and her 23-year-old daughter who were wheeling a trolley full of rolls at Woolworths Chalora have been charged with a fray and are due in court next month. I cannot understand the logic. Uh, we have a big factory in Penrith that produces toilet paper. Investigators spoke to the other woman, a 49-year-old, who'd allegedly been assaulted, but she wasn't injured. The incident, one of several at Australian supermarkets, as desperation for toilet paper reaches irrational levels. Everybody, please stay calm and be rational. We have everything we need. You see people trying to profit off of this pandemic and sell you toilet paper online or sell you stuff and it's like sell you hand sanitizer and it's like what this is this is just a crazy crazy time well i don't want to make this long and sad and miserable i'm trying to keep you guys entertained and keep you guys upbeat and cheery keep myself upbeat and cheery Honestly, the positives I can see out of this is one, I actually have more time to do all the things that I didn't have time to do when I was working. If you all don't know, I do work full time outside of doing my YouTube. YouTube is like pretty much on the side for me. And I didn't have time to do a lot of things that I wanted to do when I was working full time. So I feel like a positive is that now I have more time. It's almost like I have too much time now. I'm like, what videos can I film? What can I do? And plus, thanks to you all using my coupon code, you know, writing good reviews, even reviews here in the comment section on my channel, like, oh, I bought these lenses that you that you talked about. And I love them. They're the best writing that kind of stuff companies look at that i don't know if you guys know they watch they look at that they watch my videos and i'm getting so many colored contact companies reaching out to me thanks to you all thank you thank you thank you i don't know if i say it i'm sure i say it pretty much in every video but i'm super super thankful for you all so i'm going to show you right now the olens package they sent me a lot of lenses i took a picture and put it up on my community page but i'm going to show you all right here i'm just going to switch from my camera to my the camera on my phone so hold up okay don't mind it that's my coffee here is the box i scribbled up my address obviously <laughs> i want the internet knowing where i live so let me try and open this and do this all with one hand So this is the box that Olin sent me. These are all the lenses that I have. So these are their, are these their new ones? Scandi, yes, these are their new ones. They have them in olive, and they have them in hazel, and they have them in gray. So these are their new line. By the time this video goes up, I probably will have like reviewed these for you guys. And these are the Russian Velvet. I, I love their Russian Velvet collection. Their Russian Velvet collection is like my favorite collection by Olegs, 
hands down. Like hands down, it's their, it's my favorite from them. I love how real and natural and realistic these lenses look. They are a little bit pricier, um, but I just love the finish that they give. So I can't wait to try these out. So my plan is to do these first, the Scandi Collection, that's their new one, then the Russian Velvet. And then they sent me a bunch of, obviously, lens cases, which I will need. <laughs> And the Viva Ring Choco and the Viva Ring Brown lenses. So in case anyone wants a nice brown finish, I will see how those look. I'll give you guys a full review at some point. But you guys, when they sent me this, this took my breath away. Hold on, let me move this box out the way. Sorry. When they sent me this though, this limited edition welcome kit, I was gagged. Look at how it opens. Wait, I should. Wait. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with like one hand. <laughs> Look, this is the Russian gold. And these are their other lenses. The decent. Like, when I saw this, <laughs> the packaging, I was like, stop it! I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So I can't wait to get a review out for you guys with trying out these lenses. They also gave me a coupon code for you guys to try, so I'm super excited about that. And I have so many other lenses coming, you guys. It's crazy. But thank you all so much for your support. 